This is a phenomenal newsletter, okay? It's thorough, I say it all the time, I love it. Bunch of subscriber-only webinars. You get access to all of those, all the time that we have them backed up on. Most recent one was December 20th. Maybe we should talk about having something soon, but we have Basil Chapman on right now. Basil, are you with us? I certainly am, Jacob. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Basil? I'm very well, thank you. Good. What are we taking a look at today? Uh, I did see, you know, I was talking about Stell Dynamics a little bit. Uh, you're saying it's part of the rotational market. I, you know, obviously I know you have a lot to talk about, but I would like at some point to hear your kind of thoughts on that rotational market and, and kind of what you mean when you say that. Okay, so let me just do this quickly. <clears throat> Sure. This is the Dow chart. We are still at core position longs from March of 20 in the Dow, March of 2020, and then added to um, October of 2022. And we, we still have those positions on a very short term basis, just as kind of protection. We did take a, a small short position in the Dow, <clears throat> got a very tight stop. And one of the reasons is we've come to a point here. This is the fourth. You can see this middle chart. So the, on the left is the daily chart of the Dow. The middle chart is the weekly. And on the right, these are all my charts. When I show them, I show you daily on the left. Middle is the weekly. On the right is the monthly chart. Monthly chart is still very bullish. In the Chapman Wave methodology, if you identify a low and it gets upgraded from a buy signal to a buy mode, the implication is it should go to at least a D. That means that the monthly chart, to make a peak D, you've got to go for at least three months. That's number one, with higher highs, that is. In the weekly chart, if this is the 14th week, and this is still only A, it means to get a D, we have a minimum. It's called, I originally called this technique the seven wave form because it gets you to the seventh wave in, in leg uh, D. But actually, I, over the decades, I've found that it doesn't work quite that way. It can get a little more complex because at D, other things can happen. But if this is only A, even if we had a pullback very sharply, it would say that you can't make a peak D until at least another six weeks to seven weeks. That's if every single week there's a higher high, then the next week there's a lower high. So that's, mm. that's, that's very bullish. But that doesn't mean to say the short term can't see a sharp pullback. So within that context, uh, the Dow is still positive. And as I say, we have just got a kind of a protective uh, stop. But uh, we're looking at today, Microsoft comes out with earnings. Uh, we had General yeah. Motors, that was good. We had Microsoft, com Microsoft coming out after the bell, Google and advanced micro devices. Mm -hmm. So when I talk about the chance of a rotational market, it means that sometimes when the market is very strong and you've had leadership, Let's just say Microsoft, which is trading at 408 today, it was up in the 412 area. Um, we are still long for subscribers from the 338 level. Let's just say it pulls back really sharply. Google, for some reason, says something that's a little negative and it pulls back very sharply. It means that at this particular point, you can start to see areas like the SLX, which is the uh, select Vanek Vector Steel ETF start to move higher. And you mentioned ST, STLD. Mm -hmm. um, that is steel dynamics, steel products, hot uh, rolled and cold finished steels. Very nice. It wasn't, and that's the other thing I wanted to mention. Stocks on one day can look quite poor. And that wasn't looking very good. It looked no. like a head and shoulders from the top. And all of a sudden it reverses. And you've got this huge move of four and a half percent. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm watching the um, the oil service sector. I'm watching other things because what I've tried to do with my newsletter is I've tried to get a whole range of sectors, uh, stocks in sectors or the sectors themselves. I've also tried to get stocks that are in completely uh, different price ranges. For instance, we have a, a single digit stock that we bought in the threes and is now up in the sevens. We've got... Uh, We've got a financial stock. We've got Bank of America, which just today broke out nicely from the recent high. It's doing very nicely. So that rotation is important. So just to get to your question about this rotation aspect, if there, let's just say it's the other way around. Google comes out. I think Microsoft might be first and then Google, whatever it is this afternoon. A fantastic blowout earning. We could have one of the most amazing sessions tomorrow. We just don't know because we're on the cusp. It's been since the October, late October low. 
We've had November, December, and all of January up until now, where it's just been higher highs right. and basically higher lows. So I, I think on a shorter term basis, just purely on my technicals, we started to get overbought. But the market doesn't know that. Remember, the market doesn't know what we're looking at. It just does what it has to do. So we're trying to interpret it. So in, in that in that regard, I think it's kind of important what, what I've tried to do for subscribers is that we're in different areas. Uh, quite a few of them are kind of under the radar. And I think that's very important right now because it says that there's a chance that if you get some kind of a, a just a normal pullback, which we haven't really had. You just saw the Dow chart. Let me go there again to show you that weekly chart. Um, that is amazing. 14 weeks, and essentially, except for those three sideways weeks, we've been higher highs and higher lows. Just looking at it visually, you'd say, oh, this should pull back. But the market doesn't know that. So the, what right. I'd be looking at is if the Dow breaks under 37,000 any time in February, then the consolidation should become a little bit deeper and maybe a little bit longer. But right now, we are looking at higher highs and higher lows, and that rotational sector is very important. And you would want to see the same thing in the IW. Really, it just cannot get any grip on any, it, it gets no traction. Every time it rallies, it stalls out. So yeah. we want to see a rotation take in all the different sectors. And so far, um, you've had the Magnificent Seven or Magnificent Six, and there is a broadening out. And if you look at the semiconductors, the SMHs, that's going to be important because Advanced Micro gives us earnings today. Uh, but it hasn't made for four days since the high of 195.90. It's kind of stalled. So I think we have a lot of clues that we can look for if the semiconductors suddenly pull back. And I'm not sure that Advanced Micro devices with the billions that are coming in from the government to support uh, new industry um, I, I'm not sure that anything will happen other than the short term. So sure. I think we've got to look at this and say, let the market tell us. So for me, I've got certain numbers. If they break support levels, then we're going to have a deeper correction. But right now, this rotation is very important. That's why I like to see the financial sector doing well. And I'd like to see the steel because steel is your infrastructure. That's really important. Absolutely. And, you know, you, you know, not putting words in your mouth or anything, but I think you'd mentioned something with Tom with semiconductors, like looking at is is really now one of the really good indicators of where this market's going to go, right? And, you know, we just had reports from Supermicro, and Supermicro just does, you know, management softwares. Okay, so this is almost like derivative of these microchips, right? And Supermicro is doing phenomenally. So this, this whole industry surrounding the chips or the semiconductors are so massive, but... uh. Because yeah. because our, the semiconductor chips are our oil of the 1900s and 2000s. Now you've got semiconductor chips that are in everything. They're as 100%. important as oil used to be. Basil, thank you so much as always. Have a great rest of your day, okay? Thank you very much. Take care Have now. Have a good Bye. day, Jake. Folks, we'll be right back.